The digital age obviously gives us a great advantage in the ability to respond quickly and to respond with information, um, frankly, in my own words, and that's one of the things we'll talk about is the Neil Notes mechanism, allows me to say honestly, it's not gone through the public relations sieve, and I think it's been very appreciated by the, by the workforce. Neil's Notes is important. It's not the only tool we use. We use paycheck inserts. We use, uh, we have, are installing a series of flat screen monitors in all of our busy report areas for our operators. We're also beginning programs of, uh, for example, uh, training that we bring employees in on a regular basis to experience training. But I think the Neil's Notes has been a great addition. We started it actually uh, shortly after I became general manager, which is now about nine months ago. Um, and again, it was a, an attempt to begin to introduce myself to the workforce, to sort of become a real person to the workforce. Typically, I get a post out a couple times a week, uh, all on various topics. And they're everything from our major safety initiative, which I've used it a lot, and probably if there's a number one topic associated with Neil's Notes, it's been safety. But also issues of budget, issues of priority, um, issues of um, our, our union contra contract. So we've been able to get a lot of different information out using that mechanism. One of the, the great opportunities is you get a little feedback too. Now this isn't a blog in that it allows sort of immediate response and, and re uh, certainly I would have never had the time to sort of maintain that over a period of time. But we do get feedback through all sorts of mechanisms that we have here at TriMet. I think it is beginning to build trust between management and the employees in areas where, frankly, there were perhaps a misunderstanding up to now. And I think that's been probably the biggest advantage of Neil's Notes is that sort of trust building, that sharing of information as honestly as we can with our employees. Because there are no secrets. We're a public agency. It's an open book. Um, and we need to make sure that that information is out. Lots of times there, there can be sort of chapters. Um, so for example, a developing story can be de uh, talked about at one status and then you know, updated uh, you know, a week later or two weeks later as the, as the issue develops. And actually I think that's also a trust building relationship which say that there are processes involved in these and many steps sometimes involved in our decision making. And again, making that a bit more transparent I think has, has, has uh, paid dividends for us. Well, one of the challenges is that also misinformation can spread just as quickly, which I think puts an extra burden, if you will, on management to respond uh, with the real information, with the real facts, with the real background, um, so that perhaps things don't seem like they're coming from on high etched in stone, but there's a real rationale in place, and it allows us a chance to begin to explain that. I would say that while we're at really the cutting edge of good, high quality uh, digital customer information. I think when it comes to social media, we have a ways to go still. We've been trying to respond to Twitter and uh, we have Facebook pages for some of our, for both TriMed and for our proje projects that are underway. We've got some wonderful smartphone apps that have been developed by third-party developers at no cost to TriMet that I think also make that more convenient. But frankly, I think those are developing tools for us. And one of our challenges in developing those responses to new social media is the volume, is that we carry, when you think about it, 100 million rides a year on the TriMet system. We get about 2 million calls a month uh, on our transit tracker and that doesn't include the web hits and other things so um, it's not a one-person job and so then we also end up with the question of resources associated with responding to it. I think you have to look at it as a whole package it's not one of these things and not one of these things sometimes these things don't apply or don't work with some individuals and you know obviously you need to tailor the message to the individual the best we can but I think the Neil's Notes has been a great addition uh, and I'm really uh, very committed to carrying it forward.